Well, it is Tuesday morning, my first run here in Switzerland, second day here. Spent the first day touring around, uh, getting caught up on some sleep, finding some groceries. Uh, so this morning, I'm gonna do a short run hike up the mountain right behind our place. Uh, beautiful day for a run, nice and cool, but the scenery will be limited today because it is super cloudy. Uh, fog settled right into the valley. Uh, never know, maybe I'll get above the clouds and see a beautiful sight, but it doesn't look like it today. Well, I'm about an hour into the run, 553 meters of elevation, over five kilometers. I think I'm gonna be going downhill pretty quick. Uh, I can finally see some cows just through the fog here behind me. I could hear the cowbells pretty much all the way up, but uh, couldn't see them. The other thing that I have a hard time getting used to every time I'm running here in the Alps is you run right through people's yards, uh, right through their fields. Uh, you just don't do that back in Canada. You don't uh, run through people's farmyards on uh, part of the trail. So it takes a while to get used to, but nobody seems to mind. There's trail signs through there, so I'll just keep doing it. And uh, it's super fun out today. Not a lot of single track yet, but uh, I'm hoping to find some here in the next few days. finished my first run here in Edmonton, Switzerland. It was awesome. Not a lot of views today because I was running in the clouds the whole time, but uh, the temperature was perfect. The ground was perfect. Just uh, and I saw no one except for one farmer up there uh, fixing some fence. So it was beautiful. I had about uh, 12 kilometers of trail all to myself. So a uh, perfect start to uh, my trail running here in the swoop. Well, we're now went up the funicular, the, the big tram, double decker tram, which was super cool. Uh, and now we are going to walk up to the summit of the Stanzenhorn. So we finished our hike, we got to this tram, and this tram has uh, just one car it looks like. Oh, no, just one car. I thought maybe I saw another one. And um, we got up there and it was just this, these two ladies and two kids got off the tram. This must be a local use tram for the village because they uh, told us and called someone to let us come down on the tram. So I have no idea how this works. But it's super cool, we're in this tiny little tram, it looks super old, but um, yeah, it's awesome. We are heading down the mountain, some Swiss mountain, on this local tram that uh, the villagers use. Super cool. All right, it is Wednesday morning, so we're still in beautiful, uh, uh, Lac Lacerne area behind me is the lake and there's some mountains across the lake there that we're about to catch a boat to and go hike up so I'm gonna power hike slash run up the mountain kids are gonna take a cogwheel train with my wife and we're gonna meet at the top and uh, hang out walk around up there and then I'm gonna run back down uh, so it should be good training for the day and uh, start getting ready for the Iger
All right, I am about uh, two and a half kilometers uh, up the trail and 366 meters of elevation gain. This last kilometer and a half or so was through kind of a residential area and the roads must have been at least 20% grade going up, which is insane for a country that gets snow and stuff. I just, it's hard to believe that that uh, works all year, but uh, you wouldn't see that at home in Canada. Made it to the top of Mount Rigi. It was 9.1 kilometers up and 1,378 meters elevation. And it is amazing up here. A little busy, a lot of tourists. We took the train up, but the view is amazing. Well, after walking to the top, met up with the family, had a couple sandwiches, something to drink. Now we are off for a little bit of a hike around the top of this area. There's a couple little mountain peaks we're gonna to walk to. And then I will run down as they find another gondola and train and head down. It's Wednesday uh, afternoon. Uh, didn't get out for a run yet today, but uh, we are about to go up the world's steepest funicular, which should be a pretty awesome ride up. And um, can't wait to see what's up top. It's Friday evening, probably around 7 o'clock. It's 30 above out right now here in Lugano. I am <clears throat> going to go for a short run, explore a little bit, try not to get too lost. Uh, check out some of the sights. explore Lugano the neighborhood the region I was in I ended up just being drawn to the top of Mount Pre and uh, so far it's pretty awesome um, I made it to the top 622 meters elevation gain and about seven kilometers of distance total and it is super hot 30 above so I think I am gonna take a couple uh, pictures and then find my way home.
Well, Saturday morning, all out for a hike with the family up along the Lake Lugano. Uh, we just saw about 15 high-end Porsches drive by in a row. Pretty wild place. Last night, a uh, whole bunch of high-end cars, Maseratis and Ferraris. This is quite the city. Um, we're just going to enjoy beautiful lake view. Well, it is Sunday morning. We are about to head off to Italy. Just to say, we went to Italy this trip. I have stopped training. Uh, my calves have been really, really tight since the last run. So I skipped yesterday's run. Going to skip today's and then just walk around. Count that as my exercise for the week. I'd rather have a nice, solid calf muscle than uh, be at full training capacity. So here we go. Let's go to Italy. Cut off the bus. We're now in Italy. Not much different than Lugano, but we are in Italy, and now the kids can say they're officially been to Italy. Thanks for joining me for week 26. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the like. There's only one week left until I attempt to run the Iger 101. So I hope to see you next week for the final week, week 27.